Hello everyone, my name is Shambhavi. Hope you all are doing well. So, um, now we're starting up here uh, with the next uh, topic which we have up over your uh, sex and that is your clear, clear function. Now, let's say I am having up a next scenario with me and that is that uh, I just want to uh, do the do my uh, whole set as empty. It means that what's over the, uh, like the set I have defined in, like what's the set I have made in, I just completely want to empty up that respective set, right? That is my uh, next uh, thing which I wanted to do because um, from the previous time we are doing a lot and a lot of stuff like um, finding the common uh, ones, finding duplicate elements, right? Adding the elements, finding the difference between the elements in the set. So these all operations we have done a lot. And the last operation which comes up over here is that if you want to um, completely do the, uh, completely do uh, that particular set as empty. So if you just want to make that complete set as empty, right? So in that case, what will you do? So here we are having up a sort of a function with us. I'll just write that function over here. So like this, clear function, right? So whenever you want to make the, uh, make your set as complete empty, it means that there should not be any element uh, which should be present up into your uh, set. That sort of empty whenever you want to make it, there you use up the function which is your clear function. Okay, so this particular um, this clear function will completely help you out with the respective styles for making the whole set as empty for you, right? And all of those respective things. So that is what is your clear function will help you to do up over here, right? So now what is uh, done is that what's next step we are having, we are having that. I'll help you to write up the program uh, for this particular clear function. Okay, I'll help you to write that. Let's just set one. That's my variable which I am having up for here. That does one second. Oh, perfect. Set one, okay. And I can define up in a set, let's say 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so these are let's say some of the elements which I'm having up in my set number one, uh, eight seven six five four, right? Now, uh, I I'll just print out this particular set as set one, right? Set one, and we know that um, as a respective output, you will get in five uh, in eight seven six five four. That will be a desired output, right? And now when I will use in my clear function, okay? So I'll just write set one dot clear right so what it will do it will help me to clear and empty up my whole set and after this if i'm gonna print up uh, my set one right see set one so there are two things so one thing is that here you're printing up your set one where these are all of the uh, numbers which you have up into the set right Next is that it is clearing that particular thing and just, you are just printing up your respective set as 87654, right? I just try to run this particular program over here and I'll see what I'm getting. And first of all, I was getting my, uh, one second, first of all, I was getting my set which is 545678, uh, four, right? 45678. Um, Next what I am getting, next I am getting up a empty set over here. It's just written set and the brackets are being made out. Right, so that's what your clear function helps you up to do. That is what your uh, clear function is helping you to do up the respective stuff, to do up these respective things over here. Right, so I hope I am clear with the clear function. So what I'll do, I'll just take you towards the starting of this particular set topic and we will just try to... Uh, check it out once like what are the functions that we have studied and how are those functions right so we studied about first of all this sets that what are these these are unordered collection of the data types right these are iterable these are mutables these are not duplicates right you cannot have any duplicates in the set example i have shared it up over here with you Next is that we're declaring up a set uh, four eight one two three like that right i'm just trying to check in the type of my set Right, 
next is that i'm just trying to uh, convert this list to a set right and that is what i'm just trying to type uh, change up the type of the set next we started about your frozen sets right so these are the different types of other types of sets which you are having so frozen sets these are your immutables right and um, here you did not have any parameters which you have to pass in right if, if you haven't passed in any parameters um, into your frozen sets so what it will do it will simply return you up the empty frozen set that is what will be the result for it right so here my uh, frozen set has been defined i'm just printing that particular set over here right and um sorry above one was my normal set where i was doing the typecasting means converting uh, my list to my sets and here we have to find the frozen set right this is how you like do up the things um now anyway any elements in any elements into your um i'll say into your sets right there you use up the add function so the best case and complexity for that is we go of one and the worst is we go of n so this is how uh, the names were declared right and um, here you were having the uh, names of uh, ABC, the characters and the printing the names for those, right? You're just adding the D also over there. And even you had put in up a for range for loop actually and this for loop is also getting and added into that names only, right? And at last your uh, names variable is being printed. So here you'll be getting two responses. One response will contain A, B and C. And the third response, sorry, second response will contain A, B, C, D and the numbers from 2 up till 2, 4, 5, 6. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay. That will, that is what will you, will be your, um, I'll say the, like, the output over here, right? Next, I told you about the union operators. So, whenever you worry, you require that uh, they should, uh, like, you, you do not want any duplicate values into your set and uh, that's the thing so even you want to merge it so in that particular case you use up the union or the straight uh, line operator right uh, next uh, new union next you have the intersection so intersection in that case you will only and only get in the common columns with sorry common values which you are having up into those both sets right that's what your intersection difference it will allow you to uh, get in the difference in the subtraction between two different sets and uh, difference is done and the class the clear function will help you to clear up all your set it means me it means it will help you to make up your set empty right so i hope i am pretty much clear to you everyone about this particular same thing like um, um i'll say what are the sets what are different functions onto those uh, onto the sets which you can do right what are all those respective things i hope i'm clear with all of these things to so everyone and very much tk right so from next video we'll be starting up a new topic under the data structures and algorithm only right so if you have enjoyed the video do like the video do share it with your friends and do not forget to subscribe out my channel see you there in the next video